Morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's the last in my short series today of uh, my top five woodland walks to do this spring if you're in East Leeds. Um, that's where we are today. Actual woods near Bardsey. It was never meant to be the definitive uh, top five most beautiful woods. Uh, it's just five woodlands that I sometimes go walking in. This one not so much as the other ones, but it is a particularly a um, beautiful place. It's a lovely morning, but quite cold. It's about two degrees. There's a touch of frost um, on the fields as I uh, as I drove here. Can get it by public transport. Bus to Weatherby. It stops right near the, the entrance to the woods. Not been on this path before. We end up following uh, the road. So the wood does run along the. Uh, a steep ridge so there's flat up and countryside there and then there's a uh, a steep slope all the way down um, to the road So as I say, this was never meant to be a, a, a definitive uh, list and if you've got any ideas, maybe drop them in the comments and maybe we'll do a, a top five um, autumn walks. It's a popular spot for a little bit of wild camping. I didn't not be the through here before I don't think. Having to put a glove on. 
my camera holding Hundy's claws and all the cowslips. Slips and bluebells. So yeah, it's a, it's quite cold, quite sunny, very still. Most importantly, the weatherman says it's stopped raining for a while, um, and I have to report the paths. They are seeming to dry out a little. Looks like we have the Holy Trinity of spring flowers. Cowslips, wood anemones and bluebells. There you go, just to uh, prove I wasn't making it up. <laughs> Middle of April and we've got a bit of a frost situation. It is a fantastic month, isn't it? I was sat in the garden yesterday taking the sun with a cup of tea in the same week that I was battling my way through hailstones, hailstorms half a metre of mud on the paths Been clearing a little bit here. So why is this number one? Uh, didn't give it much of a build up when I got here. Uh, no reason, and it's parts of it are just really nice <laughs> um, and it the others I would probably call as utilitarian woodlands that we've visited they're all sort of managed and but quiet this is busy managed but beautiful it's a uh, And as soon as I find the information board, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. But for now, I seem to have got on this. There is a path, I think, that just sort of traverses the hillside. Um, so I'm also trying to get my steps in. So I'm heading out to head back. I'm not sure that's. Um, a dog I can hear. Sometimes you get uh, foxes and badgers calling. I've never really been able to distinguish between them and, and dogs. But that did sound a little bit different.
and as is everywhere at the moment, wild garlic. Watched a video the other day, don't take my word for this, check it before you do it. But it did say that every part of the wild garlic plant is um, edible. They were making, I think they were making wild garlic pesto on the video that I watched. This is pretty. So where did this come from? And this is the bank. You can see it's built on the ridge. Sort of weather bit straight ahead of us that way. Bardsey and two or three miles further on. Harewood that way and then leads off to the left. So as I say I've not really got a plan, I'm just gonna amble around and look at the sights and try and enjoy this. Absolutely glorious spring morning before the uh, hordes of fellow woodland worshippers wake up. The path sort of leaves the reserve here and um, heads towards Bardsey. But there's quite a nice little circular walk to walk down to the road and then, then back up. Woodpecker, did you hear it? Oh well, look at that. It's over that way, is the wood. Eh? If this gate post looks a little bit industrial, I think it's a, a remnants from the from the railway. What railway? I hear you ask. This railway takes us down to the road into Bardsey, and that way. It would have gone to Thorna, um, Skulls, and Cross Gates, where it left the where it left the main line. And going this way, as I say, it would have gone to um, it 
Das ist ein bisschen das Yeah, it would have gone to Bardsey, Collingham, Weatherby. And then Spofford and on to Harrogate. And of all the railway lines in West Yorkshire, North Yorkshire, that closed and that should be reopened, this must be the top of the uh, top of the list uh, a railway linking Harrogate and Leeds that goes through some of the uh, more well to do but heavily populated uh, parts of North Leeds South Harrogate all of whom probably use cars to get into the into the cities. I think it would be fantastic. <laughs> but you try <laughs> getting permission to build a railway here now. Here, but it's stunning, isn't it? So straight on up Church Lane takes you into Bardsey. I'll be coming back this way um, when I get around to finishing the Leeds Country Way. I'm beginning to question how much I really want to do it. I started it as a podcast, never finished it. <laughs> I've started it as a video and I've done even less of it um, but if we do we'll come to a bad city and I'll move to Harewood bus stop one of the nicest bus stops I've seen in West Yorkshire if you know of any better let me know. But the woods, Hetchel Woods, leading up to the crags, are just there. And where we came out is, I think, where the railway would have come out and crossed this road, I think. So, head back in. Bus X99 Weatherby. So there's parking for about two cars there, but there's more parking just over in uh, Bardsey. Just as you go down Church Lane. There's a little road on the right. I think it's used by hikers and stuff. It's a residential street, but it's easy to park. Unfortunately from here, it is uphill <laughs> all the way. So that's where we ran stuff.
that's why we came down and this is our railway so we'll take this for a little while and some a little eight catkins the bees love them absolutely love them I saw a tree at St Aidan's um, maybe a month ago and it was it was an awful day it was cold, it was windy it was raining but the bees were all over the, the willow So that's my takeaway from today's walk. Um, get this railway reopened. For goodness sake, you'd have everybody from Weatherby, Collingham, Bardsey, as I say, Thorner, going into Cross Gates and, and, and out on that side of Leeds, as we've seen. There's thousands of houses being built. So a couple of stations between Thorner and Cross Gates. Two stations maybe. And my other takeaway is get yourselves out at six o'clock on spring mornings like this. I don't think there's much the doctor could give you that would uh, have a more beneficial effect So that's where we walked across there. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it, to see the canopy of trees again. So we've gone from being up on a banking uh, to down in a cutting.
Coming out of the cutting now. Of the valley and the stream in. It's to our left. And the woods are at the other side of the valley. All the nature is out of the woods. But yeah, I think it's a worthy number one. It's uh, the stunning woods, filled with wildlife, filled with wildflowers, birds. It's accessible to the city, accessible to public transport. And uh, if you like it quiet, as I say, just come early. The valley, I don't know if you can see it through the trees, the whole little meadow, all covered in frost. I was going to say, I wonder if that'll be the last frost. It's one of the only frost. <laughs> we probably had about three or four mild frosts this year. I don't know how to measure the incline for trains, but there's a, a definite incline here coming up from Bardsey. Okay folks, so we've reached the point where I think the train um, headed up here. Not quite sure how it worked. Oh, I see. That's how it worked. It carried, it came up there and uh, it went over this railway bridge and then carried on to to Tharna. Yeah. So we leave the railway here. Man, I know it's beautiful. There you go. And the railway carries on that way. Takes you to Thorna. Uh, but we're heading across the valley. And uh, back into Mitchell Woods. Lovely little ford here. Yeah. Nice little area for picnics though. I know some of these YouTube channels are all about 
High adrenaline, high octane adventure. So I was going to go over the stepping stones, but changed my mind. Because this channel's not about those things. And if you're here, I think it is. <laughs> Sorry, you're in the wrong place. Right, so we'll go back into the reserve and uh, I'm just going to zigzag my way across the hillside, I think. There we go. A junction of magnesium, limestone, and millstone grit. There is a place here, and I don't think it's that hard to find, but I can never find it. It's called uh, Pompey Cowley, and it's on the maps as a old Roman fort. If I walk right past it, I'll go in. But as I said, never been able to find it so um, I was reading on the internet though I normally get really worked up about things like that but it's not a Roman fort they don't think it might be the Roman quarry yeah, because there was a Roman road on the top where, where the open countryside was there was a Roman road up there I think it might have been the Roman quarry, but I don't know for certain. Um, I think it was some romantic, fanciful idea started in the 1700s. But it was a, a Roman fort. Seems to be a path here. I think we're back on the uh, path that uh, came on when we first got here. I need to try, uh, without killing myself, because there are some pretty big cracks in here, but I need to try and go back down, because the path I was on will just take me back to my uh, car. Oh, I see. Things are out on, on top of the cracks.
think we came this way as well, didn't we? Did we come here already? Not sure we did. So I did want to come this way because it's kind of, it's kind of the main path out of the reserve. You get some of the views of the of the. Uh, of the crack and the beech trees I'm probably listening to me huffing and puffing as I go up the hill I'll check this out because I think Pompicale is over this way. Oh yeah, I think this is it. I think heather clad remains of an old quarry. Seems to be about right. Which for me is just as romantic an idea as it being a fart. Let's be honest, the Roman road builders are incredible. I think this is the, the road here that's further up the hillside that was here. Was on the Manchester to York Road. Imagine they built a road from Manchester to York. Hello. Now it would be scary if a shadow came running towards me to push me down the cliff. <laughs> but yeah, you get some lovely views. Yeah, so the fact that there were road builders here growing in limestone 2,000 years ago, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool idea.
so again if you came on a nice day with your children with your grandchildren little walk through the woods and a picnic here You can see them, the millstone grit, is it millstone grit? Or is it? Yes, yeah, so the millstone grit is what you get on the tops in the, in the dales, it's what Oakley Moor, Brimham Rocks. Oh, this Chevy, and I think that's what the, the crag is. Over there, but under that must be the magnesium mine, magnesium limestone that they built all the fine buildings in this part of the world out of. So Leeds is that way, how would that way? Would have been that way. I think they built the York walls out of magnesium limestone, the York Minster. It's a little bit like Oakley Moor, there's a part of Oakley Moor that's. Um, Trying to find the least steep path down. So stay tuned for the content of walking in woods and walking in towns, walking with my dog, bit of gardening, bit of cooking. There you go folks, that was Pompey Cow. I'm almost back at the start now. Um, so I'll wrap things up. This was Hetchel Woods, number one on my top five list of woods to walk in East Leeds this spring. If you haven't already, check out the others. I'll put the links below. I've done them all within the last couple of weeks so there should be continuity uh, with nature although you should see some subtle changes but for now thank you very much for watching if you did like it give it a thumbs up tell your friends about it and if you do about the kind of content I was just talking about, then do consider subscribing. It helps a lot. And the channel is slowly getting established. We're edging ever closer towards 200 subscribers. But uh, for now, and I say this, quite often on this stunning morning I couldn't uh, pass this spot without taking a photograph of my pal my pal's favourite tree 
but for now, I will say cheerio.